back so this week we're going to talk about tools and equipment that handmade skincare businesses need especially the ones who are on a budget who are starting from home and don't have a lot of you know funds to get all the fancy tools and equipment these tools and equipment are if affordable and they get the job done until you're able to upgrade so let's get right into it you do not have to get a super expensive hand mixer you can actually get a hand mixer that's $20, which is the one that I started out with, which is the Proctor hand mixer on Amazon. And that literally gets the job done. I used that for a few months before I upgraded to a KitchenAid. Or also, if you want to upgrade, you don't have to upgrade to a KitchenAid. You can upgrade to another. There's a bunch of other mixers out there. But I started from the small Proctor mixer, hand mixer that I'll show you a picture of. Also, I'll link it down below and it will be in a PDF format for you. So the Proctor hand mixer is currently now like $14. I think I paid about $20 with something around that, but it is never that expensive. I think you can even get it at like um, locally, you know, in stores near you. The next thing I'll say to get is an immersion blender. Now the immersion blender is good for making lotions, certain types of serums, creams, body creams, things like that, emulsions, the immersion blender will work really great for that and it gets the job done like really quickly. So I'll say to get an immersion blender. Also, if you're making soaps, the immersion blender will work for that as well. And it wasn't expensive. It was actually $25.75 and sometimes they have them cheaper. This is one that you can use to start out and as your business grows, you can upgrade to a larger one. If you can afford the larger one, then go ahead. But if you're literally starting on a small budget, then this is the one that I suggest that you get to begin with. The next thing I'll suggest is a milk frother. You know, they call them milk frother or mini mixers, mini immersion blenders. You know, I think they use them at, um, if you mixologists, they use those things. They come in handy for testing. When you're doing your samples, when you're doing your testing at home, you can use your mini mixer to mix things up so it does it a little faster instead of using the big one and that way you don't have to make a large batch. You can make a small batch and use your mini mixer. That's number one. You can also use a mini mixer to mix micas because sometimes when you're adding your mica to your mixture, body butter lotions, it is best to kind of um, submerse it in maybe like some oil first and then use the mini mixer to kind of mix it up and then you pour it in or like if you have turmeric, you wanna put it in oil first and then you add it to your batch. So this is where the mini mixer comes in and it all, it's also great, as I said earlier, for sampling, testing phase, and you know, just doing small batches. So the next thing I'll say, this item, the Pyrex glass mixing bowl, I had the set of three. This one is actually based on your skills and your expertise and with what you're comfortable with. Now, I see a lot of people use these bowls to make body scrubs. They do make body butters in them and, you know, things like that. However, I personally, because I started out with them, so it's, it's kind of hard to pour from these. It's, it's hard to pour from these bowls especially when you don't have a dispensing machine do you know like like what a lot of the larger companies have or even the small companies that are doing pretty well they have the dispensing machine which makes it easier for you to pour your body butters or anything that you're mixing into the jars or bottles when you use these bowls it's a bit harder so this is all based on personally what you like and how you find it the set is 28 dollars, not very expensive so now the next thing I'm going to show you is what I actually use. So I use the Anchor Hawking batter bolts. Now, now a lot of people use Parix, plastic, whatever. From I've been mixing all till now, a glass batter bowl has been the go-to. Why? It doesn't keep the oil on it. It's easier to clean. It doesn't keep stain. It doesn't keep anything. So it's easier to clean. Also, Anchor Hawking is of great quality. The Parix isn't as, you know, fully what it used to be. I still, I think I have a few of them, but I do prefer the Anchor Hawking batter bowl. So I got the two quart Anchor Hawking batter bowl from Amazon. That is 64 ounce. So that, that, I think that's a good, that's good for someone who's starting out and their large batches might be like 64 ounce. I think 
I think that's about 12 or a little over 12, a little over 12 um, eight ounce jars. So I think that's that's a good start. Anchor Hawking 2000 ml, which is also 64 ounce, which is also two quarts batter bowl. Those are really great. And uh, another key tip is the Anchor Hawking. If you have a local Walmart, you can go into Walmart and you can buy the Anchor Hawking 32 ounce batter bowls with a spout. I like those because you can pour your body butter into the jars, but it's at that nice mixture because I don't do um fluffy I don't do the fluffy pretty looking ones you know the one that you squeeze and you make a pattern I don't do those I just pour in so that works for me once but I pour when it has it has like a nice texture then it pour it in so this is why this type of bowl is easier for me might be easier for you or anybody else out there you also can look into getting the set of six mini I think they're like about shot glasses anchor hawking from walmart they look like shot glasses but they're usually they're actually used for measuring ingredients for baking and stuff they're very small they're glass definitely get them from walmart they're one ounce each those those mini those mini glass help for like small ingredients like essential oils mixing probably mica anything like that that can really help and you could just pour it into your mixture so those are definitely good i'm gonna link that below as well the next thing I'll say is a good, is something good to have in your inventory or among your tools and equipments are beakers. I know you don't see a lot of people use them, but the beakers are really helpful, especially if you're making lotion. Beakers are really helpful to pour, to do your emulsions, and especially to weigh out like medium sized additives, ingredients, to, to do samples, to do testing. Glass beakers are really great. You know, definitely. <laughs> glass beakers are very delicate as well the very expensive one have better glass but they are a bit more expensive but they last longer these ones that you get on amazon as if you take care of them they'll last your time i've had a few of them slip out of my hand and crack here and there but if you if you're careful they'll last a while so it's a set of eight glass beakers and you have them for 17.99 and 27.99 two different types and also in addition to that, if you're making like a larger batch of um, lotions, definitely get the 2000 ml glass beaker. That's really good for emulsion. Probably get like two of those when you hit that, you know, spot where you're doing a lot of lotions. The 2000 ml beakers really, you know, really help. The next thing you want to have are pipettes. I I usually get the pack of 100 because you need your pipettes, your transfer pipettes to transfer essential oils fragrance oils preservatives you need it to transfer extracts like you're literally going to continuously need pipettes because you don't want to just pour things out you can do a little bit at a time and this will help to keep your measurements under control and to keep you from wasting product the next thing i'll say to get is your thermometer gun if you're making lotions serums maybe even soaps a thermometer gun will come in handy it also comes in handy for your body butters if you're melting shea butter cocoa butter or any other butter you don't want to get too hot to the point that it's kind of cooking or anything like that you definitely need that thermometer gun to check the temperature of your products when you're melting them and when you're pouring them so definitely check out a thermometer gun it's 20 dollars, and i'm going to link it below as well so the next thing are your tiny utensils i'll say I wouldn't say utensils, but they're like stainless steel spatulas and microscope. And these come in handy, for example, when you want to scoop out, you know, like very your powdered additives that you need like a little teeny bit of. These scoops come in handy and spatulas come in handy. So you can use them to scoop up like turmeric. Stainless steel would be better because you could clean it off. You can use it to scoop up your um like you can use it to scoop up your colloidal oatmeal you can use it to just basically scoop up your powdered ingredients that you don't want to get too much off but a good amount of and you don't want it to stain your utensils or anything else that you're using so these really come in handy for that so definitely check that out the next thing i'll say to get is your gloves your gloves are very important I know a lot of people don't put this on the list, get gloves. I'm going to link to the one that I get from Amazon, usually a pack of 50 to 100 from Amazon, get gloves, use gloves for everything. Cause some of these things, especially if you're using different type of chemicals, not pretty, not very safe for your hands. And then others that are still natural ingredients, 
you still don't want it all over your hands you don't want everything mixing together and you know germs might be in your hands so definitely as a safety precaution and just to be clean get gloves always have gloves i always use gloves all right so make sure you have gloves to get your work done now the next items i'm listing are some misc items that i think people overlook but we should also have you don't really need the link for these just have these with you when you're making your products the first one i'll say is alcohol have your alcohol because when you finish making a product you pour it into the jar and you have to clean the jar off on the outside it's better to use i'll spray it with alcohol rubbing alcohol wipe it off and it's brand new it helps to get rid of the grease the oiliness that because slippery feeling it helps to get rid of that so definitely get alcohol the next one i'll say is the ball mason jars the um maybe i think it's like 32 ounce of large ones because you can use that to store your powders you can use it to store your emulsifiers you don't really need this in the beginning and right away but if you could this will help you to store stuff keep them safe or anything like that all right so that's my list of tools and equipments that i suggest that you get in the beginning of your skincare business this list is for people on a budget and like i use these stuff for a couple of months it gets a job done you can start your business with this you can get going and when it's time you can upgrade you can upgrade to a fancy mixer and all the fancy stuff but definitely don't let anything hold you back start your business with these thanks for watching my video and i hope you enjoyed